the Son, with the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You are very welcome to Mass today of the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our Is wrath will come to 
to an end, he will not be angry forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord, so that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me, as often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought in a man who owed ten thousand talents, but he had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the, ser and the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him one hundred denarii, and he seized him by the throat and began to talk to him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time, I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you, unless you each forgive your brother and sister from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Late one night, a cheerful truck driver pulled up to the roadside cafe for some refreshments. As he was eating, three mean-looking bikers roared up to the cafe's entrance. Immediately, they picked up the truck driver as a target for their nastiness. One poured salt and pepper on his head, another took his apple pie, placed it on the floor, and squashed it under a very dirty the third knocked over his coffee, causing it to spill on his lap. Through all this, the driver didn't say a word. He merely rose, walked slowly to the cashier, calmly paid for his meal, and made his a quick exit. That don't ain't much of a fight to sneer. The waiter peered out of the window and 
might say, he doesn't seem to be much of a driver either. He's just run his trawl over three water pipes. They say that revenge is sweet, but it can easily be a sour taste in the mouth. If you remember the 1990s war between Croatia and Serbia, well, some historians say that sending old scores from the Second World War had nothing lot to do with that Second War. We know that at the time of the Old Testament, that is the time before Christ, the teaching of the Old Testament was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. The bombing of Dresden in 1945 was also driven by an Old Testament passage which ran, they sowed the wind, they will reap the whirlwind. But the teaching of Jesus is quite the opposite. If we want to be his followers, he stipulates that we must love our enemies and do good to those who hate us. Many people in their personal lives have scores to be settled, all awaiting the opportunity to get even. Feuds, vendettas, grudges are often nurtured in parishes, in streets and especially in families. Many are even passed down the generations. Some may up and bury the hatchet, but they always remember the spot. But when God forgives, he readily forgets. Now, Jesus died on the cross to cancel all the debt of our sins. Forgiveness, then, for us is indeed indicative of holiness. The opposite is also true, as the first reading today reminds us. Resentment and anger, these are foul things, and both are found with the sinner.
We pray for reconciliation in families. May the grace of God help heal the rifts which have put a strain on these family ties. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for healing from the sins of resentment and anger. Forgive us for our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the sick, especially those included on our sick list. May they be given healing and strength. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the recently deceased, especially Megan Mountain, and those whose anniversaries we recall today and in the week ahead. May they be with the Lord in paradise. Lord, in your mercy. And as this is the season of creation, let us pray that we may be more caring of our environment. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pause now and pray for our intentions of our own. Lord, in your mercy. We pray now to Mary, the Mother of Mercy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Healing Prayer. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands, praise the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look with favour on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what we offer to the honour of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to God our Father in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may.
in the older street would sing and save from all distress as we await the best of hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings.
this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects, and not our own desires, may always prevail in us, through Christ our Lord. Church door on the car backside only. 